My name is George Julian Vialba. Uh, my title at Finer is uh, Chief Medical Officer. I've been at Finer in various capacities uh, for about 21 years. I'm in charge of hiring, uh, doing peer reviews on the other physician staff. I'm also in charge of the uh, Director of Nursing. Uh, my job entails uh, uh, making sure that patients that come here get all the services, medical services that they need. Neuropsychopharmacology uh, is a kind of a touchy subject in an indiv individual with traumatic brain injury. The reason being is that the majority of psychiatric medications actually are irritants to the central nervous system. What that means is that they lower the seizure threshold. Uh, most individuals with traumatic brain injuries have a higher propensity uh, uh, or prevalence of seizure disorders. So you have to be careful using these medications. The other thing about uh, psychiatric medications in the traumatic brain injury population is that they uh, uh, the individual from a clinical standpoint changes with time from the date of injury. What that means is that somebody who's psychotic or depressed uh, around the initial weeks uh, or months from the date of injury, that may change with time. Uh, statistically, an individual with traumatic brain injury reaches maximum medical improvement about a year and a half to two years from the date of injury. So individuals that require psychiatric medications at first from, uh, not do not necessarily require them later on after uh, they've been in rehabilitation. Well, what we try to do is uh, take them off as much medications as possible when they come in. Uh, we do that in a safe uh, way. For example, if they're on uh, any convulsions or seizure medications, uh, if they're on that for prophylaxis, in other words, to prevent seizures, we do EEGs, we do it in a very slow manner. Uh, psychiatric medications, we also wean them off one medication at a time, so that there's one, only one variable. Uh, the approach here at Finer is a behavioral approach. What we, is, what we do is we use behavioral modification as opposed to chemical restraints or uh, psychiatric medications to control behaviors. We get patients that are on multiple antipsychotics, uh, multiple antidepressants, and like I said, our goal is to let the brain heal or recuperate in a natural, as natural a manner as possible. They can have paradoxical uh, responses to these medications. For example, instead of calming an individual, they make, make them more agitated and more violent. Uh, instead of, uh, of helping them sleep, they may keep them awake. Uh, so uh, an, uh, a brain that's been injured sometimes responds to medications in a manner that is different from a healthy brain. Say an individual that comes in on uh, uh, Risperdal, which is an antipsychotic, Thorazine, which is an antipsychotic, uh, and Seroquel for sleep, which is an antipsychotic. So these individuals will be on polypharmacy, more than three antipsychotics. What we'll do is we'll take one at a time and we'll slowly wean them off. Uh, say, for example, we'll slowly start with the uh, Thorazine once that's off. And we monitor the patient clinically along the way. So we make sure that they, don't de not, they do not decompensate coming off of these medications. When you get an individual in a hospital institutional type setting, those individuals tend to be controlled more from a pharmacological standpoint because of the type of setting that they're in. Here in Finer, we have a least restrictive environment, so individuals can, uh, can uh, allow to de-escalate, walk away. Uh, the environment itself has a therapeutic advantage that other, other places do not. Using what they call PRN or as-needed medications, we rarely use them, and when we do, we always uh, do the behavioral, every behavioral intervention possible first before they have to be used somebody who's at uh, risk of hurting themselves or others, and they do not de-escalate. Well, that's the uniqueness of Finer, is our ability to treat them from a behavioral standpoint in a very calm, relaxing milieu or environment.